been three years since we took off on our RV trip to visit the 50 states of America. And after completing that trip, we sold our RV and moved to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. We were hoping to escape the cold, but we fell in love with it. The people, the food, the beaches. It's so pretty! It's so pretty. So we've been there for a little over a year, and since living in Mexico, we've kind of caught the bug to do some more international travel. So for the next two months, we're gonna start traveling in Central and South America. I'm not sure what exactly we're in for today, but it's definitely gonna be the adventure. I'm really looking forward to some of the highlights of seeing like Machu Picchu, but it's gonna be kind of interesting traveling with the different climates. Uh, we're gonna be in Rio for like Carnival, and it's gonna be extremely hot, but then we're gonna be hiking in Peru, and hiking in Patagonia, and we're gonna be experiencing some cold weather. So it should be pretty interesting. We haven't gotten through all of our videos of America, which happened about two years ago, but right now, since we're traveling Central and South America, probably our next couple of videos that we're gonna do is gonna be about this trip. Today is our first day of our Central and South America trip and it is a pretty crazy day because it started with the Super Bowl and then right after the Super Bowl we drove down to BWI, slept there in a hotel for a couple hours and then uh, around 4.45. This is our first flight and we're already really tired. First flight was to Fort Lauderdale. There we saw a whole bunch of Happy Chiefs fans that were leaving Miami after they won the Super Bowl got our next connector flight to Belize, where right now we just landed, and then we are waiting for our next connector flight to this smaller town, where hopefully in a couple days we'll be able to scuba dive the blue hole. It's definitely been one of those things that we've wanted to do for a while, ever since we got our scuba diving license. It's dependent on conditions, which they did say. It can be bad conditions, and we only have a couple days here, so fingers crossed we're praying for good conditions, and hopefully sometime in the next couple days, we'll be diving in the Blue Hole. Either way, it's the second biggest reef in the world, right next to the Great Barrier Reef. So I'm pretty sure we'll have some pretty good scuba diving, even if we don't get to go into the Blue Hole. So this is her little office for right now. Sitting in the car rental, right next to the airport. Now we're going on to our first small right, plane of Bye the trip. Yeah, I like small planes from this. <laughs> I used to do very well on roller coasters and stuff. Now small planes, they are my enemy when it comes to sickness. And when I got into the plane, I looked up in the front and I was kind of surprised to see the pilot and then sitting right next to the pilot on a commercial flight was Emmy. So I wasn't nervous for the flight, but then when I saw her, her co-pilot was, I might be a little nervous. Flight time over 18 minutes. to be the co-pilot and I just laughed at him until they opened the door and put down the ladder so I can climb in. And yeah, literally as we're landing, the control, like the steering wheel type thing was shaking and I'm like, if I touch this, I think it would actually steer the plane. <laughs> Getting to be the co-pilot was not something I expected today. We made it to our resort in Belize and now we are headed to our tree house where we are going to be spending the next couple of days. But it's not really just a tree house. It's more like a house that's high up in the trees. And <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. And they were telling us that everything that's in here is handmade of wood. So I can't even make a table without it being level. So this is incredible. Great way to start off our trip and we'll see what we do in the next couple of days. Fingers crossed, hopefully we'll be able to dive the blue hole.
So we're looking forward to our entire two month trip around Central and South America, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get spoiled starting off here. here right now and they're hosting us is hard to believe because typically we're like pretty cheap when it comes to like hostels and like gross airbnbs we just go for like a semi still decent cheap accommodation says <laughs> guys are not meant to wear robes I feel like I should <laughs> I'm not sure if we're supposed to marshal the entire resort wearing our robes but so that's what we're doing. We just did our first dive in Belize and we saw a turtle, a nurse shark, a couple stingrays, and eels. And now we are doing our surface interval on an island. Right when we jumped off of the boat, we saw a nurse shark, which they are totally harmless, but it's really cool to see. And he came right up to the camera. scuba diving and it was a great way to start our time here in Belize. Unfortunately, I don't think our goal of making a scuba dive in the blue hole is going to happen. Um, it's been on our list to someday scuba dive it, but it sounds like they're going to be scuba diving it on the day that we leave. It's been an awesome first few days of the trip and in a few hours we are catching a flight to El Salvador. This is our flight here. We landed um, on our non-stop flight and there was, you know, the other couple on the plane. So they're like, uh, Hudson and Emily, you get off the plane and the other couple stay on. So I'm like kind of confused because the runway was a totally different runway than the one that we like left from originally. And we were returning to the same like Belize City International Airport. So I go in and um, anyways, here we were at the wrong airport. They <laughs> took us to like a smaller one and told us to get off instead of the other couple. Is I don't know if this is relaxing or if I should feel like I'm getting seasick on a boat. I looked out the window and I saw this thing. We see them all the time in Mexico, but not up in the trees like that. 
Em and I have a debate that I'm saying that this thing's probably with its tail five feet long. How long would you say? That's Whoa, that's definitely going. that's at least five feet long. Oh dang! Look at him climbing. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast, and every moment counts, baby. I don't wanna miss a thing.